Do you believe in love at first sight, or should you restart this video until you find me attractive? <laughs> hey loves, Julian here for D News. We all know that nauseating couple that just won't shut up about how they just met and boom, they found eternal joy and happiness. No one likes that couple. If you don't know that couple, you are that couple. Part of the problem with this idea of love at first sight is it just sounds so implausible. I mean, there's seven billion people out there and you just glanced at someone and went, yep, that's the one for me. Well, guess what, Killjoys? Love happens faster than you think. First of all, let's talk about love. What is love? There's a lot of different angles to tackle the question from, but for our sake, let's just boil it down to chemicals in your brain. Feelings of desire, emotional connection, and bonding are facilitated by neurotransmitters and hormones like dopamine, oxytocin, and vasopressin. So, how long does it take for this brain cocktail to start brewing? Well, back in 2010, Dr. Stephanie Ortiz, an assistant professor of psychology and neurology at the University of Syracuse, conducted a meta-analysis of love research. The study was published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine. Ortiz and colleagues examined participants in fMRI machines and found that 12 areas of your brain can start lighting up and slinging chemicals around within 0.2 seconds of slapping eyes on someone. But hold on, the cynic in you says, what if that's just lust, not love? Good point, and my response is, neurologically, what's the difference? Well, Ortigue's study tries to answer both those questions. A lot of similar areas lit up for people who had fallen in love compared to people who had fallen in lust. So for her, it came down to whether they craved some sort of reward right now or if they thought more long-term and abstractly about it. People in love showed increased activity in areas associated with reward, like the ventral striatum, and parts of the brain associated with emotion, like the amygdala, hypothalamus, and inferior parietal lobule. Ortiz interprets that to mean that love is something that can grow out of lust as your brain adds complexity to a foundation that was built around achieving simple, pleasant, physical satisfaction. So, if you experience lust at first sight but now want to gush to all your friends about how you knew it was true love, eh, you were close enough already that I say go ahead and modify history a little bit. Actually, according to Dr. Donna Jo Bridge of Northwestern University, because we have a tendency of inserting new information into our memories, you're probably doing that already. Love may or may not begin with a glance, but it is undeniable that every kiss begins with K. Look at the spelling, it's right there. K Jewelers is one of our sponsors at D News. The brain is an amazing organ. It starts firing in regular wave patterns 25 weeks after you're conceived and keeps working right up until the moment you fall in love. Okay, it doesn't stop, but it starts changing in some interesting ways. Check out Trace's piece on that right here. You're gonna love it. They say that romantic love engages brain systems associated with motivation to acquire a reward, which is to say a match for reproduction and genetic compatibility. So, love at first sight. Do you believe in it? Have you experienced it? Let your sappy love story on us in the comments, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time on D News.